right, F16 fitness cool down, take one. All right, you've just finished a great workout and an important part of any workout is the cool down. As I alluded to earlier, static stretching kind of went by the wayside, uh, doing all those calisthenics and stretches before a workout, but they definitely have a place after workout. And one of the principles we talk about a lot in F16 fitness is how you do anything is how you do everything. So give the same attention to detail to your warm up and your cool down as you do your workouts. That same level of intensity and drive and you'll definitely see great results. First thing we're going to do with the cool down is just stretch out those hamstrings. We worked them pretty good today. So bend over, get down as far as you can. If you can get your toes, great. If you can't get as far, work on keeping a straight back and work your way toward the ground. Slowing your heart rate down a little bit, stretching out those hamstrings. All right, come back up. We may have done some lunges today, but we're still going to step out into that lunge. Now I want you to rest that back foot on the ground and go ahead and flatten out those back toes. Reach over and twist. Our hip flexors get a lot of work and a lot of the squats and lunges and stuff that we do. So open them up is important. Alright, hands now come to the middle. Nice stretch here as we transition to the other side. And same thing on the other leg, hands come up and twist. Alright, back to our standing position. We're going to incorporate a little bit of balance into this one. I want you to take about a three foot step forward. Feet, toes all aligned in the same direction. Hands overhead, come down to that front foot. Try to work your head toward your knee. You can make contact head to knee, actually activates your thyroid and helps with your metabolism. Might have to bend that front knee a little bit to get your head there and that's okay. When you raise up from this stretch, put your hands out in front and use your abdominals to come up. Alright, switch sides. Topple over that front leg without toppling all the way. Head comes to knee. Try to straighten both legs. Back up. All right, a little bit of upper body stretch. Remember we did these huggers at the beginning. Now we're just going to slow them down. Pull that arm across. Hold it. And we're going to go the other way. Now we'll bring it up overhead, similar thing, elbow goes to the sky, grab the elbow, pull it back. Same thing on the other side, elbow up, pull it back. Now, down to all fours, couple of finishing stretches. Nice tabletop position. Take your right arm, thread it through, and lay down on your right ear. This should feel really good to your shoulder. And switch sides, left arm up, thread it through, stretch it out. Back up to your tabletop, spread your knees just a little bit wide, sit back toward your heels. If you can sit on them, that's ideal. And then stretch out to the front and get your forehead to the ground. All right, back up to your feet. And last finishing stretch, hamstrings one more time. job on the cool down today. If you're still got your heart rate pretty high, you might, might want to go through that sequence one more time. And we'll see you next time for the next F16 fitness workout.